You're making a no-flap landing. What speed should you fly? This time in the ABS hangar, zero flap landing speed. Most of the time we land using full flaps, and the pilot's operating handbook recommends the airspeed to fly on final approach. But what if there's a malfunction of your flap switch, or limit switches, or a flap motor failure, or cable failure, or you simply choose to make a zero flap landing? What final approach speed should you fly? The recommended final approach speed is listed on the landing performance charts in the various beach pilots operating handbooks. The target speed varies with the weight of the airplane and assumes flaps are fully down. The latest update to the G36 POH presents the landing performance charts differently with individual charts based on the airplane's landing weight. The target final approach 50 foot speed is listed near the top of each chart. This brings up a peculiarity of the 36 series Bonanzas, that the 50 foot speed at first increases with the decrease in weight, then decreases, as you would expect, as weight decreases further. None of the other beach models share this peculiarity. It's related to the way stall speed is defined. We explain why this is so in the performance modules of the Beechcraft Essential Systems and Techniques course, free to members on the ABS website. But back to our question, what speed should you fly for a no-flap final approach? To answer this question, note that at maximum airplane weight, the recommended full flap 50 foot landing speed is about 1.3 times the full flap stall speed. The certification stall speed assumes maximum airplane weight. This suggests that, at maximum weight, the proper 50 foot speed with zero flaps should be approximately 1.3 times the stall speed with flaps up, or bottom of the airspeed indicator green arc. In the case of the V35, the flaps up maximum final approach speed should be about 1.3 times 64 or 83 knots. This is a roughly 18% increase in landing speed. Apply that same 18% to the other weights listed on the landing performance chart to determine the zero flap speed for a given airplane weight. The 58P and 58TC Barons are the only ABS type airplanes for which Beach provides data for zero flap landings. The increase in speed for a zero flap landing is not as great as the method we used for the V35 Bonanza. However, there's only a six knot difference in flaps up and flaps down stall speed in the 58P, compared to 12 knots difference in the V35. If you fly a P-Baron or 58TC, use the zero flap speeds recommended in the POH. In anything else, make your own table of recommended air speeds by computing 1.3 times VSI, the stall speed at maximum weight flaps up, which is the bottom of the airspeed green arc found in the POH limitations section. Then, Compare that speed to the maximum weight 50 foot speed from the landing performance chart and determine the percentage of increase. Create your own table of 50 foot flap up speeds by applying that percentage to the values for different weights on your takeoff performance chart. Given that most beach POHs provide no guidance on speeds for a zero flap landing, this gives you something to work with if you land with the flaps up. This video 
is part of the American Bonanza Society's Beechcraft Essential Systems and Techniques course, free to members in the ABS Online Learning Center. Log in or become a member at bonanza.org. Don't miss another edition of the ABS Hangar. Subscribe to the American Bonanza Society YouTube channel. We'll see you next time in the ABS Hangar.